sometimes God is moving in a different frequency on another station and we can't even hear him because we're stuck. We're still pushing that same button. I know it's going to come in here sooner or later. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to just wait. We can't hear nothing. We're stuck with the, the mm, we can't even hear from God because all we hear is static in our ears. Because we refuse to be flexible and find out if he's moving and speaking in another way. Hmm. <laughs> there will be times when he speaks to us and is ready to rescue us right in our storm and we bypass what he's already put in front of us. Bypass. Just let it go right by. He has sent you your, your, your relief. Your relief is right there. That's like if I work in a casino and I'm waiting for my relief to come in. I can't leave until it comes. My relief is standing right in my face and I'm supposed to get up at 3 o'clock and 7 o'clock. I'm still waiting for my relief because it doesn't look like Susie who usually comes at 3 o'clock. When your relief comes, it doesn't have to look the same way. It doesn't have to speak the same way. It doesn't have to feel the same way. All you need to know is that's my relief. That's my release. God is moving. Amen. So now we have the disciples out on the boat going through. Somebody say they're going through it. Here comes Jesus walking on the water during the fourth watch of the night. They're scared. They're afraid, but oh, Peter, I like Peter. We got to give it up for Peter because Peter said, Lord, if it's you, tell me to come out there. One word, God said what? Come. He didn't say, well, you know, it's up to you. You know, if you feel like it's me, you know. <laughs> he didn't go through a whole dialogue, monologue. No, he said what? One word, come. Somebody say decision. Peter had a very, very important decision to make at this point. Either I'm going to step out on this water and pray that it's really you, Jesus, or when I step out on this water, I'm sinking straight to the bottom and I'm going to lose my life. And some of us are at a pivotal moment in our life. God is saying, come. Come. Do what I've called you to do. Let's go. You've got some decisions to make. You either going to get out the boat. First, you got to get out the boat because you can't step on, out on the water if you don't get out the boat. You either going to get out the boat, walk on the water, come, or fall to your demise. He's telling you to do something. He's speaking to you. Which brings me to my third and final point. Step out on faith, move, and stay focused. I'll say it again, step out on faith, move, and stay focused. The Bible says Peter got out of the boat. That's stepping out on faith, amen? Then he moved towards Jesus. That's making a move. That's proceeding. But when he looked around him at the elements, he began to sink because he took his eyes off of Jesus and he started focusing on his problems going on all around him. What am I saying? You got to focus. Somebody say focus. We're going to go through stuff. Jesus is calling us to a higher plane. He has work for us to do. But if we are not focused, we're going to fall off. He has done his part. He's waiting to see what we're going to do. He said one word. What was that? Come. So Jesus, so Peter decided, all right, I'm going to come. But as he's walking, he's feeling the waves and the wind still coming at him. And what does he do? He begins to what? Sink. Instead of focusing on the conditioner, he began to focus on the condition. Let me say that again. Instead of focusing on the conditioner, the one who can make it right, pull you back together the way you need to, sustain you the way you need to. He started focusing on his conditions and he began to sink. He began to fall off. So what did Jesus do like a good Jesus he is? Reached out his hand, pulled him back up. Amen. Got back in the boat with 
them and said, oh, ye of little faith. Why did you doubt me? Why did you not believe in me? I want to submit to you today as a body of Christ, it's time for us to step our game up, get out the boat and focus. If God has called you to do something, you need to do it. See, we like to live in a safe zone. Somebody say safe zone. We like to do what we've always done the way we've always done it because right now this works for me. You know, I don't have to rock the boat. Nobody's bothering me over here in my little world. I say rock the boat, baby. Rock it. Rock the boat. If he's called you, he will equip you. And he will make you ready. And he will ensure that you have everything you need to walk out on the water. Now, he has called you to do some things. And we choose to do the things that will work well for us. The things that won't really stress us out too much. You know, we, can, we, we got a certain level. I can deal with this much. I can deal with this much stress. But don't, don't stress me out to the point where I got to really fast and pray. Don't stress me out to the point where I got I to gotta lay down my plate. But at the same time, we say we want God to expand our territory, but we don't want to get out the boat and walk on the water. Somebody say focus. focus. It's time for us to make a move for the Lord and with the Lord all while focusing on him. Hebrews 12 and 2 says that we must look unto Jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith. 